Hi there, welcome back to Firefighter Catfrida Safety Tips. Today we're going to go over CPR for children. So these are school aged children. Uh, they're above toddlers and they're children that go to school. It could, all be, it could be all the way up to teenagers. Now it's very important when you assess for children that are unconscious to see you know, airway breathing circulation. Right? So right now my, my child, my son is acting, but he's a child and we're going to go over child CPR. So we're going to assess the situation, come in, and this could happen morning, nighttime, whatever, but you want to see if they're breathing, they're not responding. So first, you actually move them around. Hey, hey, wake up, Aiden, wake up, wake up. Now he's not waking up, right? So you want to assess airway, breathing, circulation. So airway, you look to see if his airway, if he's breathing. So you look, listen, feel. So I'm looking at his airway. See if there's any chest rise feeling and see if he's breathing. If he's not breathing and there's no circulation, the circulation you're going to check for the, this is the brachial pulse right here on his arm, the inner side of the bicep, or the carotid on the neck, right? Now, if you don't feel a pulse, we have a bad situation. Now, let me ask you, do you do CPR on a couch or on a bed? No. You know why? Because if you push down their chest, what's going to happen is it's going to bounce. It's going to move. Now, I go to care homes all the time, and this is the case. Care home people, they, they do it on the bed. You can't do that. You have to take this person off the bed. You have to take them off the bed and actually perform CPR on the ground. So what you do is you take the person off the bed. So I'm just going to hold them right here, this guy, and I'll put him right down on the ground, just like this. And we're going to continue CPR. Okay, here's my son, Aiden. We're about to do CPR. So we already checked for a pulse. He's not on a, a soft surface. He's on a hard surface. So right now, he's on the floor. And we already checked for the carotid, you don't feel a pulse. The brachial, you don't feel a pulse. You look, you listen, and you feel to see if there's any breaths, right? So now we go into CPR. Now what do we do for CPR? We do 30 compressions and two rescue breaths. So we do 30 com chest compressions, and we do five sets of 30, right, and two, comp uh, two breaths. So we do 30 compressions, you do hand, like this, you could do one hand too if you wanted to, but right on the nipple line. So you could actually even take off their clothes. I'm going to leave his clothes on right here because I don't want to have them naked. But basically, on the nipple line right here, you're going to have, in between the nipple line, you put your hands, right? So where your sternum, your, your basically rib cage meets your chest, in between the nipple line. You're going to do compressions. 30 compressions and then two rescue breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We go 30 times, right? And we do about one third of the ch chest depth, which is about two inches. One third of the chest depth. 30 times, and then we do two rescue breaths just to see the chest rise. Now, when we do these, these, these rescue breaths, you head tilt, chin lift, right? Head tilt, chin lift. So you don't get a crazy angle. You want to make sure the angle is going to be enough where you see the chest rise. So head tilt, chin lift. I'm going to blow. You're going to see the chest rise. The chest is going to rise. If the chest doesn't rise, you readjust the head, head tilt, chin lift. Head tilt, chin lift. So you have your victim. You're going to tilt the head just like so. So chin lift. Right? And you want to, what you want to do is you want to see if the chest is going to rise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over with an area you can see better, just like this. And I'm going to go, and basically you see if the chest rises. If the chest rises, that means you have the right angle. So you continue doing five sets of 30 and 2. 30 compressions, two rescue breaths, and you call 911, right? If you're not, if you don't have somebody else, call 911 for you. So call 911. Now, you can access this information on the Red Cross website as well as American Heart Association. But basically, for a child, you want to first make sure they're not on a soft surface. Take them off a soft surface, put them on the ground, make sure, first of all, look, listen, feel, airway, breathing, circulation. Another way to look at it is circulation, breathing, and uh, circulation, airway, and breathing. So circulation, you'll see if they're circulating, like blood circulating, feel for that pulse. That brachial, right? Brachial pulse. I feel a pulse. So he's, he's, he's doing good, right? And I see him breathing. So right now, airway, he's breathing. So, and then now he's, he's doing good. So here he is. So this is my son. Hi. So that's CPR for a child.